What's up, Underground? Tonight's episode is brought to you by Silver City Brewing's Magnificent Bastard Scotch Ale. You magnificent bastard, you. Oh, I know. You don't have to tell me. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. It's tasty. It's really good. Um, It looks dark and it tastes dark, but it's smooth. And it is dark. So, <laughs> we did a little road trip over the weekend. We went up to Mount Vernon, Washington, which for us, being down in the southern end of the Seattle area, was damn near two hours one way. Yes, we are hardcore nerds. Some call it Southern Canada. Uh, we went up to Mount Vernon to Nora. They run carpet on road. They run carpet oval. And in the outdoors, they run dirt oval and dirt off road. That's badass. It's now, pretty cool. Are there are there jumps on the um, carpet on road? No. Well, why not? Because, no, and on-road requires talent. <sighs> we compiled some video of us goofing around in the pits, and uh, in typical SSI fashion, we forgot to actually <laughs> really video any actual racing going on. We had no plan. But we were there. We did race. And we're going to talk about some of our favorite classes. Well, one of us raced. Man. I had a bad day. You were, you were there. <laughs> oh, honest to God, that's one of the worst days in terms of on-track uh, performance I have had in years. And that's really that's saying, that's saying something. That's saying something. Uh, so I raced USGT. Okay, um, what, what car did you run? So the way that we're running USGT in the Northwest in most cases is that the front wheel drive cars and the all wheel drive cars run together. The only real difference between them is that the front wheel drives do not have a minimal weight requirement. Where'd you finish? Uh, well, <laughs> before I get there, which is the high point of this whole okay. shitty weekend, let's talk about where I qualified which was last in the B. Last in the B. It was a six car B and I was dead fucking last. Now, if you were to make a race report for a prospective sponsor, you would just say, I started sixth in the main. You don't actually have to put what main you're in. Just say what place you started. You started sixth in the main. Yes, I did. That's impressive, Kyle. Now, where did you finish in the main? So, I did manage to finish third. Third, he got a podium in the main. He'd like to thank his sponsors right now. Willie? Um, Talking to you, buddy. Uh, no, PayPal and Visa are my two main sponsors. And Magnificent Bastard. And uh, my <clears throat> dialysis company. <laughs> we, um, like I said, didn't really have much of a plan um, for this video. What we do have, though, is a lot of caulking about in the pits. Uh, including some footage of some of the more noteworthy things that happened to my car starting in Q1, which I'm not proud of. But those of you that know me know that soldering is uh, my one Achilles heel. I'm typically very, very strong in all my car prep and racecraft, uh, but for some reason soldering, or, or as I like to call it, welding. Did you say you were strong in all your race prep? I was hoping you weren't going to call Did me you out say you were strong? Now, strong is a subjective word here. Yes. Um, strong to one person may be... Abysmal. Abysmal, to another. atrocious, uh... Leaving on cataclysmic? Leaving room for improvement? No. <laughs> okay. Q1 did not get off to a good start. The front wheel drive car has the motor in front of the axle, obviously. The motor wires are not exactly in a protected place. And historically for me, when I weld them on with all my cold solder joints, because I've been told that the cold solder is the fastest way to go, it's less heat in the, in, in the motor. It's science, folks. <laughs> fucking look it up, okay? The cold solder joints are more conductive and uh, a bit brittle, as it turns out. And because I built this car for speed and not durability, one small tap and I managed to uh, bust one of the uh, uh, cold solder joints off the motor tab, and that was it for Q1 for me. Oh my God. If I blew a booger out my nose and it went splat, it would look better than that solder joint. Look, that's horrible. <laughs> this is why Lyle calls his soldering welding. Yeah. But even his welding is terrible. No, like this is poor for welding standards. It's coming from a 15 year old who's never welded a day in his life. 14. Oh, 14. USGT was cool. It was a big class yeah 
a two fifteen two, cars. Yeah, two mains, a full size B for the most part. Um, our friend Sarah from the island, she had her first race in USGT over the weekend. We actually uh, inaugurated Sarah as an official member of the island based on her showing at this race. She really inaugurated herself, though. Yes, she did. It was self inauguration. Uh, Sarah's great. She brings a lot of energy to the club. She started out in novice, and she's just gotten incrementally better each race. And this was she, her first uh, foray into USGT? Yeah, she got kicked out two weeks ago, and here she shows up with a uh, car with no body. Uh, probably new <laughs> what are you doing, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm but cutting out a way on somebody else's right? car. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why are you doing that? You're doing it with a smile on your face. I've been summoned by... Uh, I didn't set it up. I did that this morning. So I honestly heard the high priestess <laughs> of... Uh, Oh, the yeah. high priestess. Is that me? Soft, yeah, that's soft, you. The high priestess. Yeah. Sarah, your arrival today single-handedly clinched your reservation on the island. Oh, did it? Oh yeah. Why is that? Dude, how did I earn that? You're rolling in as a bit of a shit show. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. We'll do that in editing. If we could add a little bit like the Osborns, that would be fucking awesome. If you could get that, that crazy lunatic swearing where everything goes. I was going to say. Between mumbles. Are we relaxed, Jesse? Yeah, we're fucking relaxed now. Jesse, are you really done helping me? Because no. I'm pretty sure that I'm not done. We're not done over here. We're not done, Jesse. Uh, There's still a way to go. <laughs> what you doing, Jesse? On your you found a way to insult the guy that painted your body while you yourself were doing something dumb. I mean, that's like a one-two punch of amazingness right there. <laughs> so, the race ended better than the qualifying day began, but... He did. I uh, got to be honest. It's uh, it's a little frustrating um, when you have a shiny new car and you sort of have some expectations, and it's a little frustrating to go home feeling like you don't know which end is up and you don't know what the hell's wrong with the car. You took the thing home and went through it and deterred it. <clears throat> I did. I uh, I took it home. Found it was perfect. It was not perfect. Um, in fact, the setup that he was given was not even the setup that was on the car. There was Loctite in spaces where there's not supposed to be Loctite. Now that's saying something coming from me. I have a reputation to uphold. I have a sponsorship by various thread locking companies. Um, the blue ones. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Yeah, there's a, there's a video that I put some of my thoughts on redoing this car. Kind of doing a quick refresh. Uh, it's up on uh, our Facebook page. If you look, uh, facebook.com slash the racer underground, um, you'll find it. Give us a follow right there. Yeah. And like uh, it, follow it. Yeah. Subscribe all the to this stuff so you can get all these other pearls of wisdom the next time we come up with one. There's some equally janky content on there. There's some less janky content. There's probably some more janky content. There's verging on facts, all from you, um, on our Facebook page. Yeah, you went through my car. <coughs> Thanks, I think. I don't know. I'll know more. It's cleaned up. It looks like a proper race car. Can, can we... I mean, look at that. I mean, it doesn't have race pubes on it. No, it doesn't. I get that. And I don't know if you can pick up on that, but those aren't welds anymore. That's fucking solder joints. Now, I fully expect him to unsolder those and properly weld them onto his SSI specifications. In fact, I put money on it. Well, I've got to get the conductivity from the cold solder joints back. <laughs> One of the really cool parts about Nora is they have a huge Euro truck program. Like I, seriously big. Oh my God. I <clears throat> love watching Euro truck. They had 15, I think they had a B main. I think a they full, had full, like five truck B main. Yeah. Yeah, it was legit. Our buddy Stuart <clears throat> um, ran his, still with the silver can on 3S. Uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, we did not get any video of that because I was busy um, staring at it going down the straightaway, leaving a smoke's trail behind it. Um, I heard a temperature number as that motor came off. What, 200? It was 324 degrees, I want to say. Now, that motor may be permanently affixed to that car now. For sale! One <laughs> silver can! Adult owned. Preteen owned. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> angst in that motor. There's a lot of angst, yeah. This section of the video is brought to you by Fremont's 
Dark Star. Because beer matters. Beer does matter. So the Euro Truck thing happened. That was pretty good. <clears throat> it was good. Those guys, they race really... They race hard, but they race mostly clean. Mostly. Which I was surprised. Um, very good door-to-door -door racing. Most of the guys that are there that were racing Euro Truck were actually off-road guys that show up and just have a really kick-ass time with on-road cars. Um, the Hobbs father and son duo. Yep. Uh, Dougie and Kevin, good people. Um, I think John Powers, I think is his name. He races off-road. He was there as a couple others that I recognized. And they were all... It, I don't it think was there was fun. a point where they weren't smiling. The so that's cool. That's, that's fun. If there aren't many classes that have that kind of hooting and hollering and laughing on the stand no. during the main. Yeah. So if you're at all, if, if you're a former RC racer, and you're thinking <clears> about getting back into it, you're trying to find a way that's maybe a little less serious and a hell of a lot of fun and super affordable. Oh, dude, bang for the buck. Oh, my God. Euro Truck is it. Total bang for the buck. Another thing that uh, I loved about uh, our trip to Nora was how strong the 12th scale class was. Um, yeah. Another B main in yep. 12th scale. Uh, nice full field. Nora even runs 12th scale mod. A uh, bit of a small turnout this last time, but if you've never seen a 3.5 uh, uh, <laughs> a, a loaded into a 12th scale car, rip it down the straightaway, Fully you're in for strapped. a show. Yeah, strapped with all the grips. Brian is heading to Worlds this year. That's right. We have a few guys. Brian's heading to Worlds. Tim Kopp, one of our mm -hmm. friends of the club, he's heading to Worlds. Um, yeah, they're going to be representing the U.S. of A. and our club at uh, the Worlds in England, I believe. We, we should go. We should definitely support them. SSI field trip. The few that are going over, I'm thoroughly jealous. Yeah. We're with you in spirit, not in bank account. So in addition to all the 12 scale action, we had a uh, nice uh, stock touring class that our favorite horse jockey here ran. Pretty good showing. Your car. Oh, it's not terrible, right? Dude, it's so fucking good. you just recently <laughs> did the ARC mid-motor conversion. I did the... Which we have a fantastic tutorial on if you want to learn the best way to do it. If you want Jesse's speed tips, don't watch that video. Yeah, don't watch that video. Probably go on to the Facebook page again actual facts at the racer underground and there are some good pictures there's a video uh if you go on to the arc driver group uh, and i'll post it on my facebook page or our facebook page actually there's a good setup sheet on there it's really really good that car rotates and transitions like any other car i've ever had it's amazing it makes me look like a legitimate driver which is saying something again look look yeah it was really good it was uh I beat Stuart. So I, just, I wanted to say that. We should probably explain. Stuart is not slow. Stuart's not slow. Uh, Stuart's very fast. One of the quicker racers in our club, period, is one of the quicker racers, I'd say, in the Northwest. I would say in the Northwest. He yeah. can show up anywhere and mm -hmm. is in contention for <clears throat> trophy. Uh, he was the no doubt. modified touring winner at the Big Chill this year. That's right. He was the stock touring winner at the uh, Sasquatch Challenge this year. And one of the few drivers on the stand that might be the same height as you. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Actually, no. You'll see in the video, he's already taller. Shut up! God <laughs> damn it, I hate you. I really dislike you right now. But, yes. that little bastard went down on Saturday. It was great. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever actually gotten the best of him. That was a monumental moment for me. Yeah? Oh, I'm sure he's probably coming out guns blazing next time now. Yeah. I fully expect it. He's going to break it off in your tailpipe. Actually, <laughs> funny story about that. In the main, uh, Stu had a little uh, a little mishap, and you came around uh, to lap him. Oh, he didn't have a mishap. It was a two-lap ordeal. I was going easy on him. Let's talk about it. So, <laughs> Stewart's not used to getting lapped. There were some issues that caused him to be in the position to be lapped. He started slowing down in the corners. Probably for me to creep up on him, maybe do a little racing. Maybe try and get me back. And he slows down mid-sweeper. And I don't. And these new ultra-high downforce bodies that have a nice shovel nose to them. Punted off the track, over the wall. Incited a lot of hoots and hollers and laughter. And I kept on going. Dumped him like a bad habit. It was great. It was great. Love you, Stu. Appreciate you. <laughs> Everything you do for the Northwest scene. Are you sorry about dumping his car? No, not a bit. Fucking sociopath. <laughs> 
I'm really digging stock touring right now. It is a lot of fun. The cars that are out right now handle so well. The bodies work so well. There's downforce, there's grip, there's consistency. It, if you have any inkling to try stock touring right now, this is like the time to try it. It is so good right now. So please, please get a stock touring car together. You won't be disappointed. Um, some of the other classes that race were uh, F1, WGTR. Uh, F1 has a really good class up at North. Seven cars this last weekend. Yeah. Pretty good. WGTR, it's pretty cool. Um, it's like pan cars, rubber tires. Um, they look awesome. They look awesome. A uh, little bit of a small turnout, but they were there. That's all that matters. Colin, our good friend, who also runs the Galaxy program uh, in the outdoor season. Oh, like, we're doing some videos up there. Yeah, we are. That's, that's where the minis happen. That's where the magic is. Yeah. Um, he raced. That was good. Yeah. That was his first time out. One of the best parts about Nora, um, or really any of the uh, programs that are in the Northwest here that I'm seeing, is novice. So we had three cars, I think, this time out. Three new racers. Um, Gary Lewis, one of our one of our fast racers, his wife Jess, and then daughter Rango came out. And they raced. Uh, they had a nice scrap during qualifiers, and Rango actually dumped her mom <laughs> in the main to take it. Bam! It was awesome. Kids, I don't. Kids these days. I don't think her mom was as enthused as the rest of us were. How did Gary feel? Do you think? I think it was a bit conflicted. Smart. Yeah, smart. Smart, Gary. smart, smart man. Nice job, Ringo. <laughs> We're into December. We got about half a half a season left between the Hangar Program and Nora, and then our buddies down to Colt. I'm gonna try racing. to find ways to make this thing not suck. By ways, I mean you. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like it's my project now. Ah, I'm like it charity project for most people I know yeah. that's why I stuck the sticker on here it's now property of it's been tagged the racer underground so would you call that an asset of the racer underground it's something Assets I don't know if I'd call value. it an asset the car's an asset driver's an ass hat it wasn't a bad build just a hasty one <laughs> so some context is due here on his uh, video post on the uh, on our Facebook page, Jesse was at his workbench giving a very earnest update on what was going on, and he referred to my build as not a bad build, but a hasty build. That's going on a t-shirt. If you want to know more about the Nora program, you can find all you need on uh, Facebook and LiveRC. It's a well-run program. Uh, Jim Glasgow runs the uh, indoor carpet on-road and oval program right now. Really well run, really smooth running. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Good, good group of guys up there. So, cheers to you. So, <clears throat> we've been thinking. With our feeble minds, we've run out of ideas for videos to do. So we need your help. And we've done four. <laughs> this is five. Comment on the video. Comment on our Facebook page. Um, shoot us a message. Any suggestions for a video? That you guys would like to see. If you have a suggestion on next topic for us to do, we're always looking for some sort of a build challenge, a la roadkill sort of thing. Um, remember, this channel is where we build stuff and you get to point and laugh. So comment below. Give us the next bad idea. No. Gonna have to. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of outtakes this one. Hey Jesse. No, that no, you need to trim your grind and press again. Sorry, we're trying to get it on the bed. Jesse. Jesse. Where's my body? Very good. I'm not breaking your concentration, right? Alright, some of the other wait, classes. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta sit down, you oh, motherfucker. You know Ah, You're always rushing me. Rush? Why you gotta be so fast? Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. Oh, you take it the other way, too. Is that the way you're thinking? That wasn't good. Hey, Stuart, can you come cover back here? Is that alright? Behind me, the left, behind the, uh... <laughs> What's that? What's that? Was that a gesture of affection? Yes, it was. <laughs> 
and mutual admiration. I yes. appreciate you. I appreciate you, Kyle. So in addition to the 12 scale mod stuff, uh, there's stock 12. Can we talk about that? Yep, we just did. Okay. Are you just catching Sarah beating Kyle? Is that the, is that the goal? Well, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna get whoever we can, I guess. Whoever can beat Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> sure, ask your question. <laughs> Does the smell of this hamburger um, affect your concentration? Penny, knock it off. Kyle has a, uh, is it a bulldog? A bat potato. A bat potato. Okay. <laughs> it's true. It really is. I'll go get her. I didn't see her until just now. Look at that. It is a bat potato. She's very nose heavy. Kind of like, kind of like Lyle's front drive. <laughs> even more of an abomination up close. <laughs> Your new co-host. <laughs> looks better than the real co-host. Oh yeah, it makes me hungry. Yeah. Good job, Sarah. Appreciate you. Sometimes. It has still has marks on the jockey was hitting it. I don't think YouTube is prepared for this. No. <laughs> what did he say in the movie? <laughs> What movie? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Rocket when he talks, he talks to the high priest. He's like, I can't. I knew you were a pretentious douchebag, but I didn't think you were. Oh, what the hell did he say? I don't know. Oh, it's funny when you remember it, though. Yeah. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, you did uh, try to bring weed into Canada. <laughs> so. There's a great maybe, story to that. Maybe I'll go. <coughs> we'll leave you here. I didn't know. I thought I was being efficient. Fucking window licker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah. Literally can't take you anywhere. No, you really can't. Oh, yeah, that, that was awesome. So not going to Worlds. Yeah, we're probably not going to Worlds. Going, yeah, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, we're not going to Worlds. That's how I like him, Jesse. Dark but smooth. I'm talking to you, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like about this sitting position? I'm gonna just go first here. Okay. Um, this makes me look almost your height. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> okay? Just. <laughs> You're right. Here, sit up. Sit up. Look big. You're all grown up now. Our little boy's all grown up. Fuck you. Be pretty cool. With that. Does that mean that Brian is Ozzy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hook this beep. Battery straight into beep. I think that means Jesse is Jack. Okay, awesome. So, <laughs> there's, there's a fire. You could be Karen or Kelly. You may remember we actually built this car on a previous we video. We built this car. Now, built is another subjective term on And here. we. We is another subjective term. Kyle actually handled most of the dirty work. I built shocks. Imagine what the best part of this car was the transponder it was the shocks no they were okay yeah. <laughs> like okay. you they were a little short yeah wait a minute <laughs>